Hi, I'm Jeremy, and today we're going to be showing you the new HVLP gun from Harbor Freight. This gun is item number 68843 and comes with a 20 ounce cup. Now, this isn't your standard HVLP gun. An HVLP means high volume, low pressure. You're going to want a big compressor that's suitable for 15 CFMs at 40 PSI. This can also be bought at Harbor Freight. And you're going to need a nozzle to screw into the bottom of your gun because we don't supply you with one. You can also get that at Harbor Freight. What's up guys, this is Jeremy with Disciples Garage and today I'm going to be bringing you a box opening and a breakdown on the Central Pneumatic HVLP Spray Gun from Harbor Freight. Um, it's kind of an exclusive item right now, um, item number 68843. Just got back from Harbor Freight and uh, bought you know, a bunch of items as you can see in the background. Alright, so the thing about this spray gun is uh, I've never seen it in an ad before, I've never seen it in a video before, I've never seen any reviews, and I can't find one single post on the interweb of anything to do with this with this gun. So it's fairly new to Harbor Freight. Um, I have seen the gun body before, um, so I know that this gun body is being supplied to other, uh, other companies that are putting out a uh, gun similar to this uh, for actually less money. Um, so let's just dive right in and I'll show you what I found out. What do you think, Paco? Is it a good gun? Online here, I found this gun being sold on eBay um, from a couple different companies. Um, the gun looks, the body is the same. It has the same uh, pattern on the, on the handle anyway. Um, HBLP is printed in black on it. It's a very similar gun, um, but you can tell it's been put together by a different manufacturer. The buttons are completely different. The Tip, the whole tip assembly is different, um, the cup is different, and this one comes with a regulator and is only priced at about $40. Sh free shipping and $40. And it comes with a regulator and a metal cup. So I'm hoping that uh, the price difference between Harbor Freight and these online sales, because usually I can get the same stuff online for about the same price either way. Here's a red one, so I don't know if they're completely the same, but I'm pretty sure that the bodies are the exact same bodies at least. And I'm sure uh, uh, the manufacturer in China that makes them um, distributes them to several different companies, and then they go ahead and assemble them the way they would like. Um, the actual part of the gun that's underneath the tip and stuff, I've looked at really close-up pictures of them and stuff, and they look pretty close to the same thing. I kind of like the, pla the, uh, the metal cups, but I like the plastic because you can see through them, but I like the metal cups because you don't have to screw a top on it. I just wanted to put it out there. It's also being sold as a TCP gun. Uh, I've seen this being sold as a TCP. TCP? HVLP, maybe? Yeah, right here. This one's green. It's TCP Global is the distribu distribution company that's selling this one. Okay, same gun, or same body anyway. Um, this one, they actually printed HVLP right there, so I don't even know if that's on the gun. But, uh, but yeah, you be a judge of it. So again, this is item 68843. No videos, no coupons, no anything. Coming to you live here. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Christmas time around here. As you can see, I am not doing this outside in the shop right now. Little little cold out, so I figured I'd do this in the in the house since I'm not gonna be um, spraying this until the next video. So let's get this opened up. And the gun's sitting right up on top for you. So there it is. This is a really nice gun. It's uh, the nicest HVLP, the most expensive HVLP Harbor Freight's ever had so far. Um, the the machining on it feels awesome. The tip on the nozzle, the machining on the on the tip and the nozzle is a lot nicer than stuff I've seen from Harbor Freight. Um, the 
nickel plating is really nice. <clears throat> I noticed a few imperfections. If you see right there, there's a couple dimples. Um, and there's a couple dimples right there. You see those? those are the only things I've seen in the machining part of it, the, as far as imperfections go. The back's numbered, which is kind of cool. I like that. Um, the buttons just feel really nice when you turn them. Really heavy duty, really smooth. The trigger feels really smooth. Um, I've adjusted it out really far and brought it back. Um, it just all around just seems like a lot better gun, um, and it should be for the price tag of eighty dollars. Uh, they're asking. Um, let's see on this receipt right here, the six eight eight four three Pro Gravity Spree Feed uh, HVLP SPR is originally priced at seventy nine ninety nine from Harbor Freight. Advertised savings was fifteen dollars in store. And the adjusted price was $64.99. I used a 25% off coupon, which brought it down another $16 bucks to about $48. So I spent about $48 on this. So about uh, $8 more than uh, the online guys. Um, and it comes with a plastic cup and no regulator. So I'm just putting that out there. The plastic cup, I think, is the same cup that they use on their other guns. So I'm sure they bought, they get these uh, boxed and um, and add their own cups and stuff once they get a hold of these gun bodies. So um, it does have a metal outlet on the bottom, so that's good at least. And it doesn't have like where you have to screw it 20 times to get it open. It's got like the you know the really big you know the really big threads on there, so you just have to turn it like a full turn and it's on. So just point out those little things because those I know make a big difference the vent cap on top but yeah as far as the gun goes it seems really good um, box there's you know your basic crap your instructions HVLP book owner's manual which is a pretty nice owner's manual for Harbor Freight it's thick and kind of glossy and, um, and of course you get your tools so you got your tool and you got a nice plastic handled cleaning tool which you'll probably never use, especially if you buy the cleaning tool set from Harbor Freight for like four dollars. Comes with like a bunch of brushes and stuff. So, so yeah, there's the box opening. There's a look, first look at it. It's pretty cool. It feels really nice in your hand. It's nice and big. It's got the nice curve on the back. Almost feels like a Glock when you hold on to it. So I don't know. Some people don't like that, but I don't know. It feels really nice in the hand. I, all I know is it feels really nice in my hand. The nickel coating feels nice and slippery smooth. Um, the action is really smooth. Um, I just, it feels really nice, it feels really promising. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how to break this down right quick. All right, so to tear down your 68843, all you need is the tool that they supply with you, which is pretty cool. It's got every tool you need, every wrench you need on there, and uh, one tool, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Obviously, you take your paint cup off first, so that's off, and uh, then you take your tip off. Obviously, you take the tip off, it's really easy. Just unscrew it. Then you, you get you get down to the nozzle. Um, the nozzle is the biggest uh, the biggest 19 that you have on here, 19 mil. Just simply put it on like that. All right, you just find the grooves on your nozzle here, and using the 19 millimeter uh, wrench on your wrench here, you just put it in those grooves and loosen it. Just like any other HVLP gun, if you guys know. This is obviously for someone who just wants to see it taken apart. It's never taken a gun apart. Um, and you take back the fluid, uh, the, the, the nozzle adjustment all the way out. That comes out. There's your spring, pretty heavy duty spring. This should slide out nice and slow. It should have somewhat of a seal there. There's your needle. It has a part number on it, so there is a part, separate part number for, for the needle. Um, maybe if you were want, wanting to order one of those. And the insides of it looks pretty good. So far I don't see any uh, silicone caulking in here, so that's a good thing. The inside looks really nice, so. So, so far she looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the handle and the, and the trigger deal here. Um, you get these two little washers on these, on, on, the, on the trigger. You have these two little washers right here that pop off. You just pop both of those off and pull your pins out. What I do, unless you want to go ahead and get a pliers or a different tool or a screwdriver or something, is I'll take the butt of the needle, I'll set it on one side of that washer, 
okay? And then I'll take part uh, the wrench, a part of the wrench, any part that you can fit on there, like right about there, and pull down on the other part. Make sure you don't use the needle side. Make sure you use the butt side. You don't want to be messing up your needle. And I'm sure there's better ways of pulling these off that won't scratch your handle up and stuff. But. Okay, there's number two. Both of them on my t-shirt here. And there you go. So this is the top one. doesn't have the hole in it. And the bottom one is the bigger one with the hole in it. Okay. Handle comes off. Okay, you're going to want to take off the uh, nut here now, and uh, it looks to be like it's uh, number t it's the 12 on your wrench here, um, so um, if it, it's a little sloppy, so if you guys don't feel comfortable, if it feels really tight when you're taking it off, you might want to uh, go to the toolbox and grab the right size wrench for that. So we'll go ahead and try it with the tools that they have, even though like I said, it's really not the right size. Yeah, it's not it's not the right size at all. It's worse than a standard that you're trying to put a metric on. It's more sloppy than that, so. But it wasn't held on very tight, so it was able to just come right off, so that's good. Okay, here's your spring and the plastic retainer and the trigger in there. I still don't see any silicone. So no silicone caulking. So there's the body of your gun. Um, you can take the bottom valves off too if you want. Uh, the valve and the and the uh, the air valve and the adjustment valve there um, with the 14 millimeter as well. Yeah. But uh, if you notice, if you get on there and you try to take it off, it's pretty hard to get off. Um, you're probably going to want to use a line wrench or uh, some other wrench to get that off. And there's really no point in getting it off. Uh, I just wanted to uh, see in there and see if there's any silicone in the bottoms. But um, judging by this, it looks like they're using, uh, if you can see down in there. So it looks like they're using a, a nicer style, uh, like a white plastic. I think it's either plastic or a rubber O-ring down in there for a seal. Um, so that's nice to see. I don't see any caulking or anything down in there. I don't see any white caulking or anything down in there. So yeah, for the money, I think we got a pretty decent gun. Um, I'm going to put this back together, and I'm going to go out to the shop and, and shoot some paint with this thing and see how it works. Um, you guys want to see this thing in action uh, before you buy it, make sure you click on my other video um, where I'll be using this to uh, spray uh, something on a car, some kind of a car part in the garage. So. I'm going to go out, I'm going to run some water through it, it is waterborne, so I'm going to run some water through it and get some good shots of the spray pattern for you so you can see the fan and kind of get an idea of how it atomizes. And then I'm going to lay down some base coat and maybe even some clear coat through it because this is going to be a base coat clear coat gun. Uh, I'm going to use my old high pressure gun as a, as a primer gun so that this doesn't have to see any primer. And uh, that's that. You guys want a little specs on it? Um, 15 CFMs at 40 PSI. It's recommended to run it at 40. Um, and it's recommended, obviously, a 30 plus gallon uh, compressor for continuous use and uh, 7 to a 29 gallon for intermediate use. So you guys could probably get, get by, you know, with a 25 gallon compressor or a 20 gallon. A lot of you guys have those. Um, especially if it's an oiled one and still if you're not doing big jobs see I'm doing cars so I can't sit around and and wait for it so I'm gonna have to get a 60 gallon compressor obviously but um, they're saying the fan width on these spray patterns is uh, 300 millimeters on the website that we were looking at before they were saying up to nine and a half inches um, so but keep in mind they get different tips the tip says maximum 10 PSI on it for some reason. I don't know why it says that. It says 1.4 on there. Um, the gun says max PSI right there of 28. So I don't know why that says that. Because um, the box says it runs at 15 at 40 PSI. 
but they like to advertise that it has superior atomization with excellent spray fans. That's kind of what I'm going for. This one looks to be promising. Uh, if not, I'm going to take it back and I'm going to put my $48 towards uh, Develbus finish line or something. I can get a Develbus finish line used on eBay for about $100 bucks, um, and then eventually save up my money and get a SADA. But we'll see how that goes. All right, so there's your unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like my video to help me out so I can keep these videos coming to you. Subscribe to my channel where you'll see me painting cars with this gun in uh, full HD coming up here pretty soon. So um, stay in touch, stay tuned, comment, subscribe. Did I say subscribe? Did I say like? I like and describe. Like and describe it. Describe how you liked it. We'll see you guys later.